airlift. Mortar and machine gun exchanges were particularly intense around the suburb of Dobrinia next to the airport. Even the UN's new firepower, if deployed and used, would hardly be a match for what the two sides are throwing at each other. Last night, a fierce battle, mortar, small arms and machine gun fire. The city was rocked by explosions and lit by flares. These illuminated the entire battlefield, with the Serbs paying special attention to the area around the Presidency and the Holiday Inn. UN headquarters was also apparently targeted, with three mortar rounds falling near it. And after all of this, the airlift is supposed to resume. The fighting isn't only a fight this afternoon. The fiercest fighting for two days as Bosnian forces defended their positions along the city's east-west axis against attacks by the Serbs and the federal army. Days of fighting. A part of this mixed town south of Sarajevo was in flames. Serbs had been battling Muslims and were, it was said, cleaning out the last pockets of resistance. the people of Sarajevo had been ready. It followed three days of relative calm in which the Serbian fighters in the hills had apparently been restrained by their political leadership. Serbians died when their car took a direct hit in the region. The Battle of Sarajevo, the clash the city had been dreading between the Federal Army and main forces loyal to the Bosnian government. Vehicles and buildings in flames was inconclusive but catastrophic. Parts of the city lay in ruins, appeals for a ceasefire had not been heeded, and the worst that could have happened is happening. This house was hit last night for the third time. The woman inside had lost her son in the war and saved her grandchildren by minutes when she sent them underground. Fighting continued this morning unabated. Now have a chokehold on the city, which is ringed by gunfire theirs and the Federal Army. The result of flight from the hillside. A real ceasefire would liberate these children from the cellar where they've spent the last two days and three nights. They're singing, one of the mothers told us, so they don't hear the bombs anymore. All these dangers, it is overlooked from the hill from several sides, and the, the you can be shot at. We are encircled. He takes action. The local Serbs have Sarajevo under their guns and a unified command to go with it. back road to work were opened with sniper fire from Serbian positions in the hills. Civilians in civilian vehicles, one of them with Red Cross markings. In Sarajevo's central hospital, they count the casualties according to the weapons that brought them down. Sniper. And the city cannot hold out indefinitely. Supplies Sniper. of essential medicines and drugs run out in 10 days' time. Sniper. 
isto tako treba da znate da ne možete da izlazite još trenutno situacija ne znači 380.000 people still live here struggling for survival through the winter weather they have no fuel but what they can find for themselves moram cekati struju i vodu. Tako snalazim se. French combat rations were being distributed this afternoon to some of those most in need of it. But the supply is tiny and the demand so great, eight officials believe it will require a land corridor. That will need a ceasefire. Bosnian Serb snipers are again picking off people in Sarajevo. A bullet hit this car. Passengers bailed out and ran for cover. 18-year-old Adnan in the red t-shirt clutches his head. The bullet grazed his temple. But this was his lucky day. He'll likely keep his eye. Back outside on the mean streets, in the madness that is Sarajevo, a policeman directs panicked pedestrian traffic at one of the snipers' busiest intersections. But the casualties are predominantly among the civilians. And here first is a sample of what life is like in a city where even the road signs warn of sniper fire. <laughs> 